I'm going to start with a total of eight rustic wood slats. I get these from Hobby Lobby. You're going to put two aside and line six up. I got this heart shape from Dollar Tree. Now, if you can freehand a heart, then you do not need this piece. This is just to trace the shape. And I'm going to center that into the middle of my wood slats. Now I'm going to be using a scroll saw. I got this for Christmas and I just wanted to give it a try. Now if you do not have a scroll saw, that's okay. I feel like you can recreate this with some nice cardboard. And I'm basically just taking my wood slats and anywhere that there was a mark from what I traced, I'm going to cut on the line. Now I'm gonna make three piles. Anything I cut from the left side, the piece I cut out from the center, and then any piece from the right side. And you wanna keep them in order because we're going to be reconnecting them once everything is cut. Now here I'm using a Ryobi scroll saw. This is my first time ever using this. And it was a pretty easy tool to use. And again, if you don't have a scroll saw, I still feel like you can take the idea of this project and recreate it. Now I'm on my last wood slat at the top of the heart here. And what I like about this scroll saw is the base that you can lay the wood flat on and it's like a little table and you just push the wood along where you want the blade to cut. Now, of course, before you use any of these types of tools, you want to make sure you read through the manual and you understand all the safety ends so you do not hurt yourself. All right, so once I had all my pieces cut, I lined them up to connect them. So now I have my wood slats and I added a full wood slat to both the top and bottom so it just made my board a little bigger. And I'm taking some wood glue to connect my pieces. Now I do have to glue this in sections as my clamps were not long enough to clamp the entire piece. So I'm going to take four pieces and clamp them. And then I'm going to connect the rest of the pieces. And once all of that had dried, I then glued together those two pieces. Now this is the back side of my project. Once everything dried, I flipped it back over to the front and using some Wise Owl Republic red paint, I painted the entire board. Now I made the front side the more rough part of the wood once that fully dried, I took some Wise Owl Snow Owl and I just did a light brushing on top of the red. Now, since I used the rough edge of the wood, you can kind of see how the white grabs onto the wood. And I'm just using a very small amount of paint. Now, this is the back side of my board. And I took these kitchen towels. I found a pack of two from Dollar General for $3. And this one's white with some red polka dots on it. Now I'm going to lay the towel with the design side facing down. And this is the back side of my board. And I'm just going to make sure it covers the heart cutout. And I'm going to trim the towel so that it's not hanging over my board. And using my hand stapler... I'm just going to staple the towel onto the back of the board. And as I staple it, I'm just pulling it a little taut. And I'm just going to staple around the entire edge of the heart. Now I'm using my Stanley hand stapler, and I got this from Lowe's. 
And once I feel like that was on there pretty good, I'm just going to take my rotary cutter and just cut off any extra towel that we don't need hanging up off the back. And I'm going to flip it over to the front side of my project. I got this arrow from Hobby Lobby. It's like a card stock. And I cut the arrow. And I'm going to paint it using some Wise Owl black paint. And while my paint was still wet, I then took some gold fine glitter. And I just dumped it on top of the wet paint. And any extra glitter, you can just tap it onto the plate and dump it back into your bottle. Once all that glitter had dried, I took some Elmer's wood glue and I painted it on each piece of the arrow. And I glued one at the top right corner of my heart and then the end of the arrow at the bottom left corner of my heart. And there we go. And now the center part of the heart, I put that wood aside and that will be a second project. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can go on our webpage for other tutorials as well. Have a great day.